school kids. So she had one every two years. Maybe. Yeah. Yep. That's some OCD stuff, isn't it? No, that's about... About right? Well, sometimes people have... Yeah, sometimes people have babies every two years. Some have them every nine months. Anna is, <laughs> Anna's two years younger than me. Right, right. And Mary's two years younger than her. Well, there you go. There it is. Now, there was... Well, a big gap till Donna came, right? And then I was 17 when Donna was born. Right. On the edge of... On the edge of 17. No, I was 17. So you know, you've heard that song, Edge of 17. Oh, okay. Stevie Nicks. <laughs> anyway, um, I know you were in the country, so. But uh, that song, now, interestingly enough, guys, before we start this Silver University, um, it was written by Stevie Nicks because she overheard Tom Petty talking about his latest girlfriend. And she used to date Tom Petty. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people do. She dated everybody. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Stevie was highly sought after in the late 70s. And... Yep, yep. She did a lot of duets with her boyfriends, as a matter of fact. Um, some of those songs got her into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, so good for her. Anyway, enough of that. Let's talk about what we're here for. This is Silver University, guys. We got Eva... Evie, 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 and she's going to help us. She's my little assistant. She likes to help. And uh, what we're going to do is, I bought a lot of coins. First of all, um, there's only four silver coins in the lot. The rest are not silver. And I overpaid because I thought I forgot my dates, and I thought this coin was silver. So. That really hurts us, but what we have to figure out is what did we pay for the silver coins when we have all these non-silver coins. So what we're going to do, I've decided, is we're going to assign a fair value to each of these coins based on the catalog, and then we're going to have addition by subtraction, and then we're going to figure out exactly what we paid for these. Now the first thing is we got to figure out what we paid for the whole lot, and so I have to go to eBay to check that out. Um, here's some other coins I got today, real quick. So we got this cool Austro-Hungarian Florent for eight ninety-five. We got some Morgans, Morgans. Uh, these are all like twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven bucks. Here's that Austria or uh, Hungarian Florent, really weird, ugly coin. Um, that Philippine. Uh, 50 centesimos and some more peace dollars. Jerry yeah. Jim's birthday. Do I? Oh, there you go. That's good. That's good. All right. And then uh, these are the coins we have to figure out what we paid for. Here, uh, Norway, Iceland. None of these should be worth very much. Um, so we're probably going to get hosed pretty bad, I would imagine. And... Uh, that's just the way it is, man. You know? So, this coin, we already know what it is. It's a 19. And we're going to try to do some grading, too, while we do this. 1968. Uh, B. Switzerland. Five. Franc. Cutie. I always hate putting cutie on these lips, man. Hurts my soul. Hurts my soul. Alright, so for the lot, I paid Oh, here it is. For this lot, I paid $20.50. $20.50 so we gotta make $20.50 make sense and so this is what this video is all about so the first thing here is that $1.96 is what they say these gems are worth I'm gonna trust them on it so we'll take out our calculator and we pay $20.50 really if you add up my time here 
this really isn't worth my time. But I'm going to do it anyway because it's an instructional video for you guys. $1.96. We're going to subtract right off the bat $1.96. I'd pay $1.96 for three gemstones. So that's $18.54 left to account for. All right. Remember, to get our, AS, our price that we paid, we have to know how much we paid. Uh, so that's our price per ounce we got to find. Okay. Next up. We gotta find each of these coins on uh, NGC and then get a value. So the first one's a 1941 Norway 50 ore. We'll call it extra fine. Doesn't seem heavily circulated. Doesn't seem BU either. Could be very fine, uh, we'll see. And then I got to put CUNY on here because they didn't. Now, don't get the don't get me wrong. Um, there are coins that can be very valuable that are. So this coin has a mintage of two point three million. So it's not a super high mintage. Uh, it's worth two dollars and fifty cents according to this. I'm gonna say it's not. I'm gonna say it's worth a dollar. So I'm gonna take a dollar off our total. I ain't. I wouldn't pay 250 for it. So I'm gonna be realistic here. I'm not gonna give it the full 250. Okay. So we're gonna subtract a dollar from 1854. We're at 1754. All right. I'm gonna put on the back here that I paid a dollar for this coin. There we go. One dollar. Wonderful. Okay. Next up, 1940, Iceland. Again, I'm going to give this a grade of extra fine. It does look to have a little bit of wear on it. It might be a U, but I'm going to say it's extra fine. 1940, Iceland. And the coin is a one krona. Now, sometimes you'll find a very rare coin accidentally, so there's a chance we did good on this lot. It's slim, I would say, but possible. So, again, we're going to go to our... We're going to type in 19... Oh, yeah, 1940... Um, krona... Iceland, and there we go, NGC, that's our coin, yay, see that's our coin, always make sure you got the coin that you're looking at, the coins match up, coins have to match, alright, let's see how we did here, Well, if it was in higher grade, we definitely have some. Oh, okay. It turns out there's only 209,000 of these, which I'm going to annotate because something like that's important to annotate. And we said it's extra fine, which means it's worth $5. I'm going to cut that in half because, again, I wouldn't pay $5. I would pay two fifty dollars for it, maybe. So we're going to say it's worth two fifty. dollars That's what it's worth to me, you know? I'm not going to lie to myself and delude myself and tell me, you know what I'm saying? So, and then, yeah, we'll put that mintage on there. That's a low mintage coin. Uh, it's uh, it's not as rare as the 1929, but it's still pretty rare. So that's, that's good. Um, 1940H, so we'll put a little H here. That's, you got to put all the information, man. All the information. But, uh, yeah, that's a little luster. It might even be AU, but... I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and parse out. Um, okay, so mintage goes on the back, and I'll write a mintage, and it's uh, two hundred fifty thousand, two hundred nine thousand, rather. 
It's actually one of the lower mintages on here. So this coin might have helped us out quite a bit. All right, 250 is what I would be willing to pay for that if I were bidding on it. So that's all I'm going to give it. I'm not, I'm not here to cheat the system, man. So here we go. We're going to go to our calculator, and we're going to subtract 250, which puts us at 1504. We're uh, definitely, remember, this is addition by subtraction. Next up, Luxembourg. Oh, yeah, was that coin CUNY? Let me uh, write that down a bit. Oh, aluminum bronze. So that's what we'll write. AL bronze. Kind of write down what they're made of, man. I don't like uh, guessing. You know, I don't like that shit. All right, Luxembourg. Now this, you know, 1924. And, yeah, the coin is actually probably in mint condition. Uh, we're going to call it extra fine, though. You know, we're gonna, we're not here to, it's not a B, it's not a brilliant dazzler, but it's probably in mint condition. All right, Luxembourg. You guys can see my obsession here, right? Everything's, uh, there was, uh, there was some, uh, some stuff I was looking for. I looked up a knife. Yeah, I like knives and gun. Uh, yeah, I like weapons too. I also like uh, miniatures. Okay, 1924. Luxembourg. I'm actually pretty decent with uh, firearms and blades. Uh, not to toot my own horn, but. And what are you? You are a what, what denomination? This coin they say is made in nickel, which is cool. That means it'll stick to a magnet. One franc. Here we go. One franc. Are you nickel? Well, is this our coin? It appears to, and it also appears that they put the obverse on the reverse. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I would say this is a nice example of that coin. Make sure it's the same coin. 1924, mintage of only a million. So that's pretty low. And we were going with extra fine. They said that's worth $10. <coughs> I'm going to say it's worth five. I'm not going to, I'm not giving it the full value. I'm not going to do it. $5 coin. I don't even know if I'd pay that for it, but if you were really interested in these, and what I could do is, we could search eBay and see what sold. This is in mint condition, though, I do believe. Or something really close. AU. Really look at it there. And let's zoom in. Maybe it's beat up and I'm not seeing it. Yeah, it's got some bag marks on it. Um, there's a rim ding, but it's it's little. It could be a bag mark. Not seeing a lot of wear. And there's the reverse. So, yeah. We'll call it a $5 coin, man. That's, uh, ah, there's some bruising on that rim. See the bruising? Right there. But actually, that's leading me to believe it's closer to mint. There's not much wear on this. All right, anyway, it's irrelevant. We're, we're calling it a $5 coin. Okay, oh, I'm gonna put the mintage on there because it is a lower mintage. go one million mintage pretty cool little mintage now a lot of these uh, Nordic nations you, you'll notice that they have really small mintages and uh, coins in higher grade are harder to find in some cases so next up I said this was Norwegian I'm just guessing but lucky for us I have a cool Oh, we got to confirm that that last coin is nickel. It is, in fact, nickel. Nickel. So it was nickel. All right. Next coin is an island. Okay, so that's Iceland. See that? Right there. That told me it's Iceland. All right. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. So let's, uh, let's try that. 1971, 15 kroner. 
this is in pretty good shape. It's a it's a nice coin. It's, it's pretty decent. We'll call it extra fine. I'm not gonna. Oh yeah, we gotta take the five dollars off. Hold on. 1971. We'll put in Cronur. Okay, and that is that our coin? No. So it's not Iceland. There it is. It is Iceland, but it's what I put ten. Oh, it's fifty kroner. That's where I messed up. Okay, got it. I knew it was Iceland. Yeah. All right, here we go. That's our coin, yes. Okay. That is our coin. And we have we have luster, so let's see what we got here. 1971. That's five hundred thousand is the mintage on that. I'm gonna write that down. Cuny, copper nickel. Here we go. Fifty Kronos, uh, Kroners, five hundred thousand mintage. What do we get? Well, according to this. This coin is worth a dollar and thirty cents. I'm only going to give it seventy-five cents. So I'm going to put point seven five because that's all I'd pay for the damn thing. Yep. All right. So five seventy-five is what we got to subtract off of here. Because we didn't do the Iceland coin. That puts us at 929. Next coin is 1978. An Iceland Krona from 1978. And that looks like aluminum to me. It does have luster. That is our coin. And is it worth anything? It is aluminum. <laughs> wow. All right. 1978, 13 million. We're not going to have that near. Yeah, we're going to call that 10 cents. That's 10 cents. I don't care. 10 cents. I wouldn't pay over 10 cents. I wouldn't even pay 10 cents for it. Here we go, 1978, one krona, 10 cents. And we're gonna take 10 cents off our total. Uh-oh, what happened to our total? Ah. Okay, let me recalculate. All right, uh, that takes us to 11.15. And now we're gonna do that five front that screwed me over on this lot real quick. Let's do that. So, here we go, that's our coin. There's our coin, this one's in 
fine condition, I would say. Maybe very fine, probably very fine. Let's see. Uh, 1968 B, 33 million. It ain't worth bupkis. It's worthless. It's got no value. Let me see what Numista says. Uh -huh. It's got cool edging on it. I don't know if you guys have seen this. All right. Anyway, the 68 coin, they say it's worth $4.80. I say it's worth a dollar. Hell, you know what? 50 cents. It's worth 50 cents to me. I wouldn't pay more than 50 cents for this coin. I don't care. So, it's worth 50 cents to me. I ain't, we're not sitting here trying to smoke. Yeah. And honestly, I wouldn't, I, you know me, I'm a silver guy. So, we're going to point minus 0.5 on our total. 1065 is what we paid for our silver. <clears throat> so, now we do the usual calculations. We add up our ASW, and we divide it by 10.65. Or, hold on. <clears throat> yeah, so, we already know this. Look, watch this. Clear. 0 0.671. 0671 times 3. Plus, oh. Plus... 0.1342 and that's what all of our silver comes to is 0 0.33 like I said about as much as a half dollar that's what I said in the last video it's 0 0.03 off but yeah real close now uh, let's see here 1065 oh I didn't subtract a dollar 69 hold on Hold on. Well, I got the ASW, so here we go. Yeah, I forgot to, when I redid my calculations, I didn't take this, the gems into account. So, hold on. Uh, minus 196. 1065 minus 196. 869. That's, that's fair. I think that's a fair, I think that's fair. Some of these coins are actually rare, so if they weren't rare, I wouldn't be doing any of this, and I'm giving them half their catalog value or less. So I think that's a fair number. 869 is what we paid for the silver. I think that's, yeah, reasonable. So 869, okay, so we take 0.3355. Five. We divide this by 0.3355. Wait, no. Yes. So we take... Point three three five five, And we pay twenty five ninety one per ounce. That's what we need. I'm rounding up. Always round up. So twenty five ninety one per ounce. Which is well over melt. But if you look at the coins we got, some of them are really nice. So, okay, I didn't do as bad on this lot as I initially thought because this one's not so nice. So what we come to is we just do our simple math. Watch this, and then I'll end this video because it's getting long. Um, 0.1342 for the franc. Now, obviously, this coin has some wear, but we have to, you know. We have to just ignore that when we're calculating what we paid per coin. And then if you want to actually weigh it and get the actual silver weight, you can put that on the flip. I might do that one of these days on these coins. All right, 1342 times 2591. That comes to 3477122. Well, we round up, that's $3.48 is what we paid for this coin. There you go. And Tom's Coins is going to be proud of me because I didn't discount all the non-silver coins because he likes non-silver coins, I've noticed. I, there's nothing wrong with that, guys. You know, if you're a coin collector and you like pretty coins, 
there's nothing wrong. Collect away, man. This one's really nice. This is a nice one for four. You know, for, that's not a bad, bad little coin there. Um, got some nice luster on it still. Probably AU. All right. Anyway, so the next three coins all have the same ASW. So what we would do is, if we want to get fancy with it, is we take this out of the equation, keep our other number, 0, 06, what is it, 71, yeah. And that's a $1.74 per coin, $1.74. And we've now accounted for every bit of that 25 or $20.50 that we paid for this lot. So yay. And the cool thing is, is we've actually paid more because we bumped things up. We rounded up. So we actually paid less than what the flip actually says. So if I added all these numbers up, it would come to more than 2050 is what I'm telling you. But we've accounted for every cent and then some. All right, guys. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed the content, like, share, subscribe, all that jive. If you didn't like it, tell me why in the comments. And I'm, I'm actually cleaning this Morgan Dollar. I'm going to let it soak overnight in some soap and water and see what happens. Sometimes, actually, you can see it's really actually working uh, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, um, like, share, subscribe, and... Uh, Tell me what you didn't like or what you liked and uh, talk to me. Comment, man. Find all the collectibles of your dreams while you're awake. If you can't find them, don't blame me. I'm trying to show them to you guys. I'm trying to show them to you, okay? And thanks. Ciao.